Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. This is going to be a quick update. As always, every video goes up on Patreon and exclusives, usually two, sometimes three times a week. Tomorrow morning, we'll have a, a new exclusive over on Patreon. There's just so much craziness going on. As we see this, 50,000 Chechen soldiers joined the alliance with Russia and the special military. Uh, you have a lot of things going on. It, it really does feel that we're close to, gosh, just everything being exposed. And at the same time, as everything is, is really being exposed out there, you have the conflict es escalating. And this is, again, how they can get you to... Uh, well, you know, again, put out the fire in your backyard, backyard before you're going to go looking to get anything else anywhere else done. And this is what they do time and time again when we talk about the system that's in place. State Department might have blocked Scott Ritter and Judge Napolitano from coming to Russia today. Uh, interesting passports taken. You know, you could see, and, and it's been so obvious, we've been talking about I, I have made videos going back to 2018 saying they want to start a civil war before World War III starts, but they have both planned. Um, you know, if, if you follow this stuff, it, it's it, it's almost like watching a WWE match. You kind of know it's scripted. Uh-oh, bad guy's going to get the upper hand. Oh, okay, uh, you yeah, know, this is going to happen. They're going to, somebody's going to grab a chair and hit somebody over the head with it. It's just, uh, it's just so scripted. And they play the same things over and over again. Uh, national emergency has been declared in northern Israel while fire trucks being dispatched from the center of the country to the north. A full-scale war with Hezbollah is, yeah, definitely, it's more than just Hezbollah. You're talking China and Russia because China has said it's time to help Russia defend the world, basically. And this can look like hell on earth. And as you see, more scenes of northern Israel burning. And absolutely, Israel on fire in response to Israel's burning of olive trees in Lebanon with white phosphorus, a banned illegal substance. Hezbollah is burning the Israeli, Israeli settlements in the north. <sighs> All this is, is really part of that divide and conquer, uh, as we've been talking about forever. And thankfully, as I'm looking at comments, People are really catching on, and, and they really are getting it. They're even getting the, the, the stuff that is a little bit more out there. They're, they're starting to hear it, starting to say, huh, you know, this, this kind of does make sense now that you mentioned it. Yeah, I mean, this stuff is kind of otherworldly. It is, because we're, we're in a big war, and Earth is just one tiny little planet, just one amongst many. And so, as you see, things getting a little bit out of control. Um, rockets, sirens, fires burning, chaos, and, and unusual uh, explosions as this one catches uh, the radar here. Massive explosion. So what is that massive explosion? You know, or fire. This is our, our friend over at Into Thin Air. You know, a lot of fires being lit. And I saw comments saying, well, this reminds me of uh, California. Or this reminds me of this wildfire, that wildfire. And now, you know, they, it's not even like you have to put that word wild in front. Because we get it. You know, now some of these, like the Israel situation, actual act of war. Uh, others have been other things, you know. Um, an official in Maui was just arrested. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard about that. Uh, the sickle maker was grilled all day. And now, you know, these these talks about, you know, what happened after World War II, that famous trial begins when and, you know, it really feels like we might get somewhere. But again, don't think it's not part of the plan. Even though it's long overdue and absolutely justified, it's still 
is a system that believes in sacrifice. It's a system that believes in blood sacrifice. You know, the only re reason they um, put these people up so high on pedestals and make them such big targets is to use them. It's to use them when they're fixing to do something. So, I mean, I'm not complaining that something might actually happen. That would be wonderful. But what's behind it? You know, what, what are they turning our eyes from? What are, they, what are they turning our eyes to? Uh, what are we going to wake up to? Uh, to it's, 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 it's a little odd, and I'm just kind of carefully standing back and, and watching. You know, we, we have these arbitrary, artificial, political, governmental agencies, and they'll say things like, you know, you're committing treason against your country. The real real truth is the power structure on the planet is committing treason against humanity and also against everything that's alive on the planet they're guilty of treason indeed against the earth in and of itself and and that's that's the real truth and then you have this statement coming uh that they have a nuclear weapon that will turn the lives of the you know, Zionist into H E L L. And interestingly enough, again, um, the whole idea of hellfire literally comes from burning trash. It it literally comes from burning trash. That that's where it comes from in in the Bible. You know, that was the place where they threw things and they burned them. So yeah, no, everything about this world is really it's been artificial. Uh, artificial construct just for one thing control and it is starting to just deteriorate in front of our very eyes isn't it amazing the progression of the realization of the masses just from that second eclipse mm -hmm. it's, been, it's it's been a lot going on and it really does seem like things have changed as far as you know more people average people that had been just sleepwalking in the zombie apocalypse all of a sudden at least getting something having one or two major aha moments and that's really what what we've all been waiting for and i do see a cynicism and a distrust that's that's building towards anybody and you know if elon's to be the new savior and come out with some new system it, it looks like they're intent on letting everything burn to the ground it feels like again they're jumping to another plan as you know the computer ai algorithms is what determines the, the uh power structures moves they go totally by uh, feeding the data into the AI and having it run its scenarios. So they just go on down the line, but it does feel like they're not getting exactly what they wanted, but there's still a lot more to go, and it is just starting as far as the big awakening. Right. Let's just keep ourselves high vibe. Yes. And so, again, stay safe. Um, be aware of your environment and your situation. Hopefully you guys are in a spot where you feel safe and you could always, again, envision yourselves as this world responds to our intention. Envision yourselves in a dome, an iron dome, if you will. Uh, a crystalline dome sounds nicer. And protected by angelic beings and your guides or however you want to view it. Uh, in your terminology, visualize that protection, ask for that protection, you know, put it out there, and then also, loka samasta suki no bhavantu, pray for peace on the planet, and that we may be beacons of peace, so we can get rid of the system and stop killing each other. Source bless and namaste. Namaste.